Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today we are going to be talking all about the best affordable cleansers. That's balm cleansers, cream cleansers, gel cleansers. There will be something for everybody in this list and they will all be affordable and absolutely fantastic. So as you can probably hear, I am struggling to speak today. There's no pain. I'm not ill. This just will not do one. It's been around for a really long time, so we're just going to struggle through and hopefully you'll stick around regardless of what I sound like. If you are new here, hi my name's Gemma, I'm a qualified aesthetician and lover of anything beauty, skincare and makeup. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8pm London time and I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there, it's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. I would really appreciate it if you would consider coming and joining the Pampered Wolf Pack. We are absolutely amazing in the Pampered Wolf Pack household amazing. We are all very friendly. Click on the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's go straight into balm cleansers. So balm cleansers are a thicker version really of an oil cleanser. You would generally apply them to a dry or a slightly damp skin, rub them into the skin and then they need emulsifying before you remove them from the skin. They are absolutely fantastic for your first cleanse. You can use them for your second cleanse, some people don't like to, they like to use more of a gel or a cream cleanser, but you can definitely use these as the first and the second cleanse. But remember, they do need to be emulsified before you remove them. That is one of the key things for both of these cleansers. So the first cleanser that I want to speak about is an amazing cleanser. I've used this so many times, I've never had an issue with it, and it always feels beautiful on the skin. This is by the Inky List and it is their Oat Cleansing Balm. Absolutely fantastic, £9.99 and you get 150 mils worth of product and considering the amount that you actually need of this to cleanse the entire face and the neck, this is gonna last you a really long time, £9.99. This is formulated with colloidal oatmeal, which is very soothing. It's an antioxidant, so it will protect your skin against that free radical damage and oxidation. It's also an anti-inflammatory. It's great for anybody that suffers with any redness. It's a beautiful, beautiful ingredient. It's also very, very hydrating. So not only can you use this to cleanse your skin, but you can also leave it on the skin if your skin is clean and use this as a hydrating mask as well. So it's multi-purpose. This is a really gentle cleanser, also hydrating, great for dry skin, but you can also use this if you have an oily skin as well. Great for acne and blemish prone skins because the colloidal oatmeal is an anti-inflammatory and will reduce the redness and irritation surrounding all your blemishes. So it's great for all skin types. It's also vegan, it's cruelty free and it's free of any fragrance and also essential oils. What more could you want? It's an absolutely fantastic cleanser. This will melt away makeup. It will melt away your SPF and leave your skin beautifully smooth, clean, hydrated and nourished. Absolutely gorgeous. I forgot to mention that this is also alcohol free, which I believe when you're talking about cleansers is really quite important. I know a lot of people get really hung up on alcohol within products and it really depends on the quantity of the alcohol in a product, whether it's going to have a really negative effect on your skin. But all of the products that I'm going to mention today are all free of alcohol, but I didn't mention that with this one, so I thought I'd better come back and just uh, give you a heads up on that one. The next one that I want to talk about is from The Ordinary. Now this could be in the balm category, but it could also be in the cream category as well, because this comes out looking like a cream, but it's a really thick consistency, more like a balm. So I have put it in the balm category, and on The Ordinary's website, it does say it's more like a balm on there as well, rather than a cream. So that's where I've put it today. But again, you could really put it in either category. So this is from The Ordinary and it's their Squalane Cleanser. Absolutely fantastic. £5.50 for the 50ml. I've gone ahead and bought the 150ml container because I use a lot of this. In fact, 
I've also got another one behind me just in case this one runs out. It's an amazing, amazing cleanser. It's £13.90 for the 150ml, like I said, £5.50 for the 50ml. So it's pretty relative. You're not saving masses buying the 150ml, but I do find it runs out quite quickly. So it's well worthwhile getting the 150ml version. This is so good for both the first cleanse and also the second cleanse. Some people, again, because it's a balm, don't like to use it as the second cleanse. That's entirely up to you, it's personal preference. But I would use this for both cleansers. It will get rid of SPF, it will get rid of all your makeup by melting it off the face, then just emulsify it and remove it with either a splash of water or a cloth again, depending on your preference. This is really gentle. It's really nourishing and moisturizing. It's lightweight. It's just beautiful. It's efficient and it's really comfortable and easy to use. And some balms aren't comfortable on the skin, but um, these two definitely are. They just really, really feel beautiful on the skin. This is vegan and cruelty free. And again, this is free of alcohol, fragrance, and those essential oils. So anybody with a sensitive skin, you should be able to get away with using this and it won't cause any redness or any irritation on your skin. It's an absolutely beautiful product and it's suitable for all skin types. But I would definitely say that if you have a dry skin, you really need to be trying this because it is just so beautiful. So definitely worth a try. And it's really one of my favorites. I love it. So let's move on to the cream cleanser category. And that has taken me around about 15 minutes to say with perfection. That's a real tongue twister. It's been very frustrating. Can you tell? Cream cleanser category. See, I can say it absolutely perfectly now. I'm not quite sure what was wrong with me earlier. Anyway, cream cleansers usually need to be massaged into the skin, either on a damp skin or on a dry skin, and then removed either with a cleansing cloth, removed with a cotton round, or you can splash your face with water and remove them that way. The first product will not surprise anybody because I've spoken about this cleanser on my channel quite a lot. This is a really beautiful cream cleanser and it's from CeraVe and it's their hydrating cleanser. £9.50 in the UK, you get 236 mils. This is gonna last you a long time. It's really affordable and it's also really good value for money. This is best, I would say, for normal to dry skin. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this for anybody with an oily skin because I think the hydration and the nourishment that this gives is just gonna be a little bit too much for your skin. If you disagree with me though, if you do have an oily skin and you absolutely love this, do let everybody know in the comments section. My mum has more of an oily combo skin and absolutely loves this. So combination skins, yes. Normal skins, yes. Dry skins, yes. Oily all over. Maybe not. This is a really effective cleanser. It's really nourishing. It's really hydrating. It's got hyaluronic acid and glycerin in here, as well as those ceramides that CeraVe is renowned for, which reinforce the skin barrier, helping it to work in a really healthy way and keeping all that moisture in your skin and preventing that transepidermal water loss. CeraVe is absolutely fantastic for all of those. Gentle to use every day. I have used this as a first cleanse before, but I think this is more effective as a second cleanse because after the first cleanse, I was still left with makeup on my skin, which when I use an oil cleanser or a balm, that doesn't happen. So I think this is more effective as a second cleanse product, but I have had people who either don't wear a lot of makeup or don't wear any makeup saying that this is very, very effective for them. So I guess it depends on personal preference. This is also free of alcohol, free of fragrance and free of essential oils absolutely love it. Now I get asked all the time, what would you recommend as a cruelty-free version for the CeraVe hydrating cleanser? And I've been searching and searching and searching. I haven't found something identical, but I've found something very similar. And it's from Beauty Bay. So if you get Beauty Bay in your country, you will be able to get your hands on this fingers crossed. This is the Super Jelly Cleansing Gel. It's £6.50 in the UK and you get 150 mils. So 
all in all around about the same price as the CeraVe when you're taking into account the amount of product that you actually get. So it's not identical, like I said, to the CeraVe, but it's very, very similar. It doesn't have the ceramides that protect and preserve the skin barrier but it does have prebiotics in here which do a similar job or at least a similar end result by looking after that skin barrier and really protecting it. This also has avocado oil to nourish and moisturize the skin. And just like the CeraVe, this has hyaluronic acid and also glycerin in here as well. So very similar product. You're gonna get a similar result. Again, I would say this is perfect for a second cleanse. A lot of people will like this as a first cleanse as well. But if you're wearing a lot of makeup and a lot of SPF, I would always recommend using either an oil cleanser or a balm as your first cleanse, but this is a really gentle cleanser. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, free of essential oils. It's also vegan and cruelty-free, and it's suitable for all skin types. Absolutely fantastic. If you suffer with really, really oily skin, again, just like the CeraVe, because this is really nourishing and hydrating, this may be a little bit much for you, but I would still give it a go because it's so super affordable. You're not wasting a lot of your money by trying this out and you may find it's absolutely fantastic for your skin. The last product to appear in the best cream cleanser category is one that I seriously recommend if you've got any irritation. If something's just popped up out of the blue, like you've just suddenly got lots of spots or lots of irritation, blemishes, and you've just no idea where they've come from, perhaps you've left an acid exfoliant on your skin for a little bit too long, your skin's a little bit sore, you don't know how to fix it, you don't know which cleanser to use in the morning, this is the one that I would recommend because this is so super gentle and it only contains eight ingredients. This is one of the products that a lot of dermatologists recommend when you first go into clinic. This is a gentle cleanser. It will do exactly what it says. It will cleanse the skin very, very gently without stripping anything, without leaving anything. This doesn't have any bells and whistles. It will just cleanse your skin and that's it. So it's very, very simple and very kind on the skin. This is the La Roche-Posay Tellerian Dermo Cleanser. This may be called something else in your country, but have a look at the ingredients to check that there are only eight ingredients in the product and it may be a similar product. You'll be able to see the ingredients list. I'll put them on the screen for you now actually to show you what ingredients are actually in this. So if this is called something else in your country, you'll be able to check for the ingredients to see whether it's the same product. It's £12.50 in the UK and you get 200 mils. This will last you an incredibly long amount of time. Like I said, very gentle suitable for all skin types. Again, alcohol-free, fragrance-free, and essential oil-free. It's an absolutely fantastic product. So let's move on to the gel cleanser category. And there is only one cleanser within this category that I seriously recommend. This is an amazing gel cleanser. In fact, it's fast becoming my favorite cleanser for a second cleanse. And that will shock quite a few of you because I have never been averse and I've been quite vocal about the fact I've never been averse doing a double cleanse with either an oil cleanser or with a um, balm. It's just not a problem for me, but I've really taken to this gel cleanser. This doesn't strip the skin. This is fantastic for dry skin or any skin type. You can use this if you are acne prone, as well as if you have super dry skin. This is again from CeraVe and it's their SA Smoothing Cleanser. They actually target people with dry, rough, bumpy skin. This is amazing. But again, if you have acne prone skin, blemish prone skin, this is also fantastic for you because it has salicylic acid in here. So this cleanses really gently, but deeply. And again, absolutely fantastic for a second cleanse. But I wouldn't use this as a first cleanse. If you do, I wouldn't use it around the eye area because one, it's got salicylic acid in there. And two, if you get it in your eye, it seriously stings. And I did try it out once, 
never again. So I tend to use this as a second cleanse, knowing that all my makeup's already been removed from my first cleanse, this is the one that I really do a deep cleanse with. So this gently exfoliates the skin with the 0.5% salicylic acid. It dissolves dead skin, it unclogs the pores, it smooths the skin's surface, getting rid of any of that textured, bumpy dryness on the surface of the skin, but also, again, really beneficial for anybody with blemish-prone or oily skin as well. This also has those absolutely fantastic ceramides in there, so it will protect the skin barrier Area and help it to work efficiently in a really, really healthy way. And it also has hyaluronic acid and glycerin in here to hydrate and nourish. I absolutely love this. And if you haven't tried it already, I seriously recommend that you go and try this out because um, like I said, this is my favorite product for a second cleanse now. And I never ever thought that I would say that on my channel, that a gel cleanser was my favorite for a second cleanse. Unlike a lot of gel cleansers, this doesn't have any harsh surfactants in here. It doesn't strip the skin of any moisture. It just is a beautiful cleanser. It removes all that dullness on the surface of the skin. So your skin looks really beautiful and glowy and it's gentle enough to use every single day even though it's got salicylic acid in here. And I am quite happy to use this every day and it's just been magic for my skin. Absolutely love it. So that's it on my rundown of my favorite affordable cleansers. Do let everybody know if you have some of your own in the comment section, let everyone know your thoughts and opinions. Also, if you've tried any of these, if you love them, if you really didn't get on with them, do let everybody know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section on those as well, because these aren't going to suit everybody. Everybody's skin is completely different, so everybody's gonna have different opinions, but these are my favorite affordable cleansers. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I will link all of the products in the description box below. Those will be affiliate links, which means if you do click on them and decide to go shopping, I will earn a small amount of commission, which I can then reinvest into my channel. Thank you ever so much for anybody that's done that already or is thinking about doing that in the future. It really does make a big difference to me, but you know, you get your products from wherever you want to. There's never any pressure on this end and I will never know whether you have or whether you haven't. So don't feel like you're going to offend me if you don't. Thank you ever so much for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye everyone.